Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we've got a brand new set to review and open and this is something that yeah I've definitely had before. I don't remember if I've ever got this sealed before. I think I got it in all of its components separately but this is the Brute Weapons Customizer Pack. It's all about the Banished, and these are the Halo Wars 2 Banished design. I know that a lot of new fans into Halo Infinite Mega Constructs don't even realize that the Banished had a completely different design during Halo Wars 2. And here we have it on display for you all. I honestly just love this Banished design. You know, we've had a lot of Banished recently, and they're fun. They're more just like... I don't know how to put my finger on it. Like these are kind of more Halo-esque banished, right? Like these do feel like Halo art style brutes, but these are more like what you would imagine the banished actually are. Like raw, like fierce, very metallic, very sort of jagged and sharp. You know, these feel like really dangerous brutes, right? These feel more like a little soft, but then it, when I say soft, I mean just more down the normal Halo art style approach. And yes, we do have the Craig head. That doesn't really help matters. The banished brute mold in this one is so much better. I don't really, like, I've always been a huge defender of Craig. I love it. I love the meme. But I don't want Craig's head on my Halo figures anymore. I want a more realistic brute. So there's all of our Halo Infinite ones. We're gonna check out the Halo Wars 2 today. Funnily enough, has a sort of Halo 3-esque Master Chief. I know this was, like, alongside a lot of the anniversary line at the time, so I do get it. But still, I would have preferred maybe, like, like a Jerome here, or even a Captain Cutter, maybe even an Atriox, that would have been cool. But I know they usually have the same Master Chief on all the packaging for all of that range, like all of that year's product. It does make sense to me, and also the Master Chief is the, the main sellable character in Halo, so it makes sense that he's on the packaging. On the back, we've got our two Brutes. You can see that they come with matching crates, the blue and the orange in coordination with their armor tones. Then on the back, we've got a colored Brute Plasma Rifle. I know that's uh, one of the favorites in this set for most people. We've got a colored gravity hammer and a colored mauler. Very rare we ever get a colored mauler in a set. Then also a trip mine that's colored. The single colored weapons are the brute shot, spiker, and spike grenade, but they don't really need to be, you know, three, well, technically kind of four weapons colored is very generous for a set like this. And on the back, you can also see the Spartan customizer pack. I scored both of these in a dollar general hunt with Thomas and Daniel Bovey, and that was a really phenomenal day. Today we're gonna break this open. And you know, the Spartan Customizer Pack has a lot more customization options. You know, this is a brute banished customizer pack, but there's not really much customization. Aside from swapping their armors, in the Spartan Customizer Pack, there are lots of different additional armors to choose from. Right. Come free, banished brutes, and take the Spirit of Fire by storm. Let me know in the comments down below, do you agree with me that the Spirit of Fire should have been obliterated by the banished? Like, it, it, it never stood a chance. Here's a very simple instruction manual for something that's already built. We don't need that. And we've got our two crates. One, I think, it looks like it's empty. Oh, oh no, okay. It felt like it was empty. It's got all the colored pieces for the crates. And this one has the additional accessories. Oh. No, it just has two base plates. All right, fine, fair enough. Two base plates in one and some uh, some customization options for the crates in the other. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. It was a little bit of a spur of the moment video, but me and Kellen built a, what, what was it? Recon getaway. Yeah, it was a really fun video, actually. I had a great time. Here is our banished brute number one. Looking really, really cool. Like, again, this is more like a Halo art style for sure, but this is just gritty. It's down to earth. It really really feels like they are, you know, space gorillas intent on destroying humanity. And the head underneath is way more realistic too. This looks like the Awakening the Nightmare DLC Brutes that you see very close up. And if you compare Brutes, it's uh, it's night and day there. Interestingly, in the Banished Garrison pack, this head mold returns on one of the Brutes. So that was exciting to see. Just look at this. It's really nice. I don't know how much the camera can pick it up, but there is a lovely sort of bleeding effect of colors running down the shoulders. Starts in a gray tone, works up to silver, works really nicely. This brute also has the nice daggers on his wrists, though they don't look like the best molding per se. They've been uh, slightly upgraded with this brute warrior. You can see he has an actual red tint on him, but this is from the brute warrior versus master chief battle pack. And that is a, a very exceptional set in terms of molding, uh, in terms of paint applications, more or less. I think you can just see here, just the molding is more clean on the new halo infinite ones. Like this is a bit more, 
more uh, mixed, a bit more runoff, like not as clean of a mold. So happy that that improved as we went on. These brutes are identical in every way, I believe. Yep, I don't see any differences. The only obvious difference is the colors. This has a nice dark silver, more like a dark gray. This is more silver tones. And it's interesting, I actually really respect that the armor is different colors. They could have had the same color armor with different highlights, but no, they are different colored armors with different colored highlights, which actually goes a long way for me. This orange, I really enjoy. It's very like war machine, like sort of war paint. I really enjoy that. There are no painted detailings on the back of these figures, but really you're only looking at the front here. They also make a great pack, little Bond brothers there. I will always keep them together on the battlefield, like they definitely hunt as a pair. Taking a look at the accessories now, we've got a painted mauler. That's really nice to see, honestly. Painted maulers, like I said, very rare. The silver and the black, very easy, very basic, but really, really works. This mauler has been in production for basically the whole length of Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks, Halo. I believe if this was made and molded today, they would have a rotating drum like they do with the Mangler. This is basic, and I think if Mega were to design it again, they would change that. But still, looks really fantastic. We've also got a painted gravity hammer. I know this is the favorite of a lot of people. Mega really knows how to make their painted gravity hammers. And again, just two colors, very simple. Your basic gray that is the color of actually a lot of weapons, both UNSC, Banished, and Covenant. But the silver highlighting on top really makes it stand out. I would love some extra like glowing red or orange pieces to make it feel like it's coming alive, like it's about to smash onto the floor. But I really enjoyed all the same. The final one, which I know is everybody's favorite. Like this is, this is just so gorgeous. This is the Brute Plasma Rifle. Brute Plasma Rifles particularly have had a bit of an off and on relationship with Halo. They were brought back in Halo 5 Guardians and in Halo 2 Anniversary. They just look phenomenal. I really enjoy them. I really enjoy that the Brute's got a different color to the Elites. And not only do we have two colors here, we've got the purple, which is the base color, then silver highlights. This dark silver even looks like a different silver to this. And then the blue at the front gives the impression that this is mid firing, which I really respect. The soft plastic has made this droop down a bit, which I think it really should be upright more. But maybe if I sat there and held it in place for a minute, it would be a little bit better. The final painted accessory in the set is the trip mine. Bronze with gold highlights and silver rims on the top. They have released this exact colored trip mine in many sets before. A lot of old school sets actually. And it's just really nice to see it return. Then uncolored, we've got a brute shot, spike grenade, and spiker. The spike grenade is a soft plastic, so again, it bends quite easily, but as easily as it bends, you can just put it back into shape by giving a bit of push to it. The brute shot has been replaced over the years. The handle used to come out of the side, so you could peg it into the back of the torso easily, but I think people complained about that, saying it was a bit strange, so they've made it more realistic to the game, so the handle can just be held very easily, like so. And that does work work very well, but of course we're not going to have these brutes holding the non-painted weapons. We're gonna give this one the gravity hammer because that silver kind of matches the base silver of this brute a little more, and this one will give him dual wielding the brute plasma rifle and the mauler. Look at that, very nice. Very nice. This is available right now at Dollar General, guys. You can still find this, so I would highly recommend you going and trying to look for it because it's such a dope set. Lids on top, and then we're going to customize the crates. And yeah, again, it is a customizer pack, so I, essentially you could swap those around. I wonder if that's any good. Um, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> That doesn't look any good to me. All right, let's dump this little bag out. A lot of fun gizmos and gadgets in here. <laughs> gizmos and gadgets, what am I talking about? A lot of pieces. All right, very simple here. We click one on and we have these spikes facing outwards. Nice. And then the same with this one. And just when you think about the price of this, a Dollar General right now, this is about six or eight dollars. And the price point is awesome. Like really, really cool. So there's our two crates, lovely and in between, or maybe guarding each of the crates, is our Brutes. There we go, everybody. The Brute customizer pack, banished all the way, black base plates to finish it off. This is a phenomenal value for money, and something that you should check your 
Dollar Generals for right now. Dollar Generals are also stocking the Spartan Customizer Pack, a range of blind bags, the Sword Base Invasion, Marine Defense Set. There's a lot to offer right now and all of the exosuits, so I would definitely head on down to Dollar General. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. I hope you enjoyed yourself and just stick with this channel for some massive changes coming this week, including a relaunch of our Discord. Link in the description below to that channel. You're gonna really enjoy it. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure to like, comment down below and subscribe. January and February are very tough for content creators, so any support you can give to this channel would very much be appreciated. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the Brutes are signing off. Wow.